everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's recipe, I'm making a chicken casserole that has some bacon in it, has some eggs, a couple of different cheeses, a few vegetables in there to you know, make it nice and healthy. And I think you guys are gonna really enjoy it. It's a great recipe to take to a party if you need to bring a casserole, or it's really nice for breakfast, believe it or not. It has a lot of nice protein in it and some fat, so it really sustains you for several hours before lunch. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right, so let's go over our ingredients. First up, we have our chicken breast. You could use thighs too, it doesn't really matter, but I'm using some uh, nice uh, breast here that we're going to grill on the stove. I have some bacon here that I've already cooked on the stove and I've chopped up into nice little pieces. I have some organic celery here that I've chopped up with a super fine dice. I have a zucchini here from my garden, so that's organic. And then I have a couple of cheeses here. I have some grated mozzarella and some Parmesan cheese. And I have a couple of eggs. I'm using a couple of eggs from pasture-raised hens. They are really nice and healthy. And you'll notice the difference when you crack them. The yolks are much brighter orange and they just look healthier. Over here, I've got some heavy organic whipping cream, my cauliflower rice right next to it. And with that, you can you know, make your own or you can buy it already riced. There is a difference though, however, and I'll, you know, I explain all that in my uh, how to make cauliflower rice video. And I'll leave a link for you down below in the description. We'll need some Italian seasoning. Now this is my own blend and I'll leave a link for that video as well and you can make it yourself. We'll also need some olive oil and some salt. So to start off our recipe, we're gonna start with our chicken since everything else is pretty much prepped up, right? So I'm gonna take the chicken because it's a little thick, I'm going to butterfly it. It will cook faster on the grill pan over there and just speed everything up. So you just take your knife and just basically cut it in half as evenly as you can. That wasn't so even, but it'll still work. So I'm just gonna coat the chicken with a little bit of olive oil so that it doesn't stick to the pan. And just rub it all in, both sides. And then I'm gonna season with a little bit of salt. And a little bit of garlic powder. And we're ready for the grill. All right, so here at the stove, here's my setup. I got my grill pan here, and I've got it over medium, low heat. And over here, I've got another frying pan where I had already cooked the bacon, so I just left it, you know, I didn't clean it out or anything, you don't need to. I left a little bit of the uh, bacon grease in there for some flavor, and I'm gonna add just a smidgen more olive oil to that because what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be just softening up and cooking the celery and the zucchini just a bit for, again, better flavor. Let's go ahead and start with the chicken that we've already dressed. And cook it up here. Now make sure you wash your dish. You don't want to put your chicken back on a dirty dish. So over here I've got my pan. Like I said, um, over medium, I'm gonna put it on medium heat, get it started, toss in the celery and the zucchini. And we'll just let that cook up and, you know, just a few minutes until it softens up. So my chicken back here is thinner and therefore it's gonna get done sooner. So I'm gonna flip this one over. So while everything's cooking up here, I'm going to uh, take my cas casserole dish here that I'm gonna use and pour a little bit of olive oil in it and just spread the olive oil around the dish just to sort of season it so that when it's baking in the oven, the casserole won't stick as much. It's still gonna stick, but not as much. When the vegetables are done, I'm just gonna put them right in my baking dish. So I'll flip over the the other two pieces that were thicker, and we'll continue to cook those. This one here, I believe, is done. I'll just place it on a clean dish. Once the chicken was done, I pulled it off. I'm just letting it sit here for just a few minutes so that I can handle it well enough to just be able to cut it up into bite-sized pieces. Once we get that cut up, then we're gonna just put everything together in our casserole. We're gonna toss in the bacon 
I'm going to sprinkle in the spices that we have, the Italian spices. And I'm going to give that a toss. Just so everything gets mixed in well. And then I'm going to pour in some of the cauliflower rice. And it's kind of a variable here. You have to put in about two cups. But I want to just kind of see what it looks like. And always add more or less. That looks really good to me right there. Next goes our Parmesan cheese. So we'll sprinkle that in and then give that a toss as well. Now we're going to add our eggs to the heavy whipping cream. Look at how bright those yolks are. Aren't those beautiful? I had a friend who uh, raised chickens and she would give me her eggs and they look just like this. And they just, they, the chickens ate their natural diet and they just were so much more flavorful. They were just really good eggs. Pastured, if you can afford it, is the way to go. So I'm gonna pour the egg mixture right over the top and then we'll mix that in. You just kinda of wanna make sure that the egg mixture is, you know, mixed into everything, not just sitting in one spot. And then we'll finish it off by topping it with the mozzarella cheese. So our casserole is going to go in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. Okay, so here's our casserole after 28 minutes. What you want to do now is, it looks done enough to me, is I'm going to turn, turn your oven to broil and just broil it for about two to three minutes and that'll make the top get a little more golden brown. So here's our casserole after I took it out of the oven after it broiled a bit. You can see how it got nice and browned up. So there you have it guys. Our casserole is done. Doesn't take very long to cook and doesn't take very long to put together either. So I'm going to cut a slice out for you. And like I said, if you want to have this for breakfast, I don't know why, I just like it for breakfast. High protein and uh, Let's see how it comes out. Pretty good. Take a bite. Chicken's nice and moist. You can taste the bacon, you can taste the cheese, you know, and the, the um, celery and the zucchini that we, you know, cooked in that bacon grease was, it just turned out really great. So guys, I hope you'll try this. Uh, let me know if you do. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you have any recipe requests, I want to hear about that too, so leave that down below in the comments. And if you'd like to help me out, share the recipe, share my channel so more people can you know, enjoy some of these recipes, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching everybody, we'll see you in the next video.